Praise the Lord. I think sometimes we get it mixed up. We want the preacher, amen, to excite us and run us around the church. And then when it's time to praise God, amen, we want to be quiet. But uh, there's an order to God. Amen. Your ways is not God's way. Amen. Come on, tell us God thank you. Amen. Praise out God. Amen. Exodus, the 14th chapter, and verse 13. Exodus, the 14th chapter, and verse 13. Just one verse. Um, you have it signified by standing. Say amen. 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 Lord, I praise you. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. Well, say that with me, no more. No, no more. more. Forever. 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 Um, I want to release this word, the great crossover. Mm -hmm. The great crossover. You may be seated in the presence of our God. Hallelujah. Now, praise the Lord. I will uh, outline the vision of the church for this year as we go into the But this morning, praise the Lord, this is like what the Lord has laid on the heart. The men of God so eloquently preached the word last night. Amen. And it was already in me, praise the Lord. And we get so close to this verse, I said, well, <laughs> praise the Lord. They're going to preach that. And then I might have to preach something else, praise the Lord. <laughs> but it didn't go that far, praise the Lord. I felt you. I felt you, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. When you are a man in that same vein that lets you know, praise the Lord, that you are working as one. That's praise right. Amen. Lord, I praise you. Praise him. Now, when I think about us going through the year of 2016, and now having passed into 2017, Amen. I thought about a crossover. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I thought about a man moving out of the old, walking into the new. God said, talk about Moses. When you speak, amen, speak prophetically so that people can understand Hallelujah. That God is taking you somewhere. <coughs> In fact, just pat yourself on the back and say, God is taking you somewhere. God is taking me somewhere. Hallelujah. This is not the year you're going to be stuck in the same situation. God is taking you somewhere. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Here in this text, we see a man, the scenery, the children of Israel have now been pushed out of Egypt. Praise him. For about 450 years, they served Egypt in bondage. Come on, somebody. Praise him. Served them with rigor. Served them in slavery. Hallelujah. They had endured a man under the hand of a pharaoh that arose, that didn't remember Joseph. Yes. Nor the things that Joseph had done, praise our God, for the Egyptians. Hallelujah. But it was in the plan of God. Because God had already spoken to his servant Abraham, and told Abraham that your seed 
Yeah. Going to go down to Egypt. Going to serve them in bondage. And the 450 years I will bring them out. Amen. Lord, I pray. One of the things I want you to understand is that your going through was a part of God's plan. Yes. Your bondage was a part of God's plan. Yes. Hallelujah. The struggle had a significance in your life. Hallelujah. So now God, a man, used ten plagues to loosen the grip yes. of Pharaoh off of the lives and the freedom of his people. Praise him. Finally, a man, the last plague where all of the firstborn of Egypt died from the firstborn of a man, Pharaoh, to a man, the firstborn of his slave, right. died. In Egypt. Yes. Lord, I pray. Hallelujah. Told Moses, kill the lamb. Take the blood. Put it over the doorposts. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Said, when I see the blood, uh -huh. yes. I will pass over you. Pass over. That last uh, uh, plague made Pharaoh drive them out. When he drove them out, they didn't just leave like they came. Yeah. They left with great substance. Great substance. Mm -hmm. yes. See, some things that God is allowing you to go through is to be able, when you come out, to come out greater yeah. Amen. Higher Amen. than what you were when you went in. Amen. There was something. A man that you got to get while you're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. They spoiled the Egyptians. And then, praise the Lord, these free slaves out for the first time in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Young Lewis, they come, praise the Lord, to the Red Sea. Yeah. And when they get to the Red Sea, praise God, beloved. Amen. Uh, God says, I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart one more time. One more time. Because I got to get the glory. Hallelujah. Out of Pharaoh. Amen. Preacher. The preachers preached last night about supernatural victory. Mm -hmm. But you can't have supernatural victory unless you get a supernatural enemy. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You want to holler, I got the victory, but right. you don't want to go through anything right. Right. for the victory to be manifest. Right. Right. In order to know that you're going to have the victory, you have to have some kind of foe fighting against you in your life. Amen. So as you go into 2017, the very fact that there is supernatural victory is not saying that there are not going to be any challenges and that there's not going to be no enemies. But what it's saying is that no matter what comes up, I'm going to give you the victory. No matter what you go through, I'm going to bring you out. Can anybody say amen to that prayer? In other words, I speak to you as a man of God that those of you that are under the covenant of God, there is nothing that you will face in this year for which God will not bring you out. In fact, if you find yourself going in, go in looking to come out. Amen. Amen. Can I take my time? Go ahead. So they find themselves at the Red Sea. God once again hardens the heart of Mr. Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them slaves. They think that they have escaped me. I'm going to get them, praise God. The Bible teaches us that he gets about 600 chariots. Hallelujah. Amen. Horsemen, praise the Lord. And go after, amen, praise the Lord, the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now it's funny, praise the Lord, 
hallelujah, that God would send them down to the Red Sea, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, because, praise the Lord, glory to God, the Red Sea would be a poor place to be able to stand and fight. Because when they get there, praise the Lord, they are standing in front of this august body of water. Amen. And so the water has barred their, amen, going forward, praise the Lord. And then, praise the Lord, there are mountains, amen, on each side of them. So they can't go to the left hand and they can't go to the right. And behind them is their enemy coming to snuff out their life, praise the Lord. And all of a sudden, the unspiritual people get scared, hallelujah, and they allow fear, amen, to cause them to want to go back, praise God. You know when you are walking in fear, when you want to go back to where God has delivered you from, amen, amen, only because you want to save your skin, praise the Lord, hallelujah, but you got to understand that God has not brought me this far for me to die in a situation like this, hallelujah, so Moses cries out to God because they want to stone the leader when they get in trouble, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and, and, and and, and, and God said, what are you crying to me for, Moses? He said, what is that that is in your hand, praise the Lord? And when he gets a revelation that God intends, hallelujah, to bring them out, amen, Moses says this to them. He says, don't you be afraid. He says, I want you to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Can somebody say, stand still? Stand still. Hallelujah. You, you, you're not going to see God if you're moving everywhere, I pray to God. There are folks that won't stand still for nothing in this world. Amen. They run everywhere, I pray to God. When it gets hot for them, when it gets hard, I pray to God. They throw in the towel and they give up and they try and go somewhere else. I can't get no help of them here. Now, some people do marriages like that. When the marriage gets hard, they run out, I pray to God, and go find somebody else thinking, amen, that is going to work out right. But only to understand that problems will follow you wherever you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to stand still, praise God. Hallelujah, you're talking too much and you're complaining too much and you're allowing your fear to make you make decisions for which, hallelujah, you will pay for in the oh God. Oh, be honest and tell the truth. Some of the stuff you went through in 2016 wasn't the devil. Some of it was your own decision. Disconnect. Yeah. Wait on your next paycheck. Yeah. Tell the truth. Some of that was you. Oh, you didn't have to sign on the dotted line. Yeah. You didn't have to get no brand new car. Yeah. You could have drove what you had. That was yeah. grace for what you had. Yeah. You could have lived in the same house you were in, praise God. But you let yourself get caught up in this world system. And now you're suffering and you and man want to blame the devil and you want to blame the church and you want to blame God. But he tells them, stand still uh -huh. and see the <laughs> salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you this day. This day. Because those Egyptians that you see today, you ain't going to see them again no more. No more. Forever. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, let me go a little deeper for you today. Mm -hmm. Egypt mm -hmm. is a type of a world. Mm -hmm. Somebody say world. 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 Egypt, praise the Lord, at that time was the greatest civilization mm -hmm. in man, the greatest empire. Amen. Egyptians were wise and smart beyond their years, praise the Lord. Yeah. How they're still trying to figure out how they built those pyramids today. Yeah. Hallelujah. And God allowed his children to go down into Egypt and to serve these people, a man for 400, a man in 50 years. There is something you have to learn when you are in bondage. So Egypt is a type of the world, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. 
And God brought them out of the world. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. But let me help you understand something. Praise God. When we talk about crossover, when we talk about the crossover, mm -hmm. amen, the crossover, amen, includes baptism. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I said, what? How you, how you going to bring that one out, Pastor? Just stick with me. Praise God. I'm, I'm going somewhere. Praise God. In fact, praise the Lord, the complete crossover is represented by two baptisms. Hallelujah. God brought Israel out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they could say that he brought us out of Egypt with a mighty outstretched hand. Right. But they could not say that they were delivered until the thing that was chasing them was now gone. Amen. Now some of you trying to serve God in partial deliverance. Yes. Man, you, you have asked the Lord to come into your heart. You have asked God, pray the Lord to be the Lord of your life and amen, and you're happy because you done shouted a little bit and yeah. some tears done rolled down, but the truth of the matter, you still ain't quite delivered, praise God, because amen, Pharaoh is still on your back. I feel like preaching right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you see Slim come around, praise God, you know you ain't supposed to be with him, but you get so uh, weak in the knees that you uh, what, what's that song? You can't hardly uh, your mind praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Slim got your mind because you ain't delivered yet. Come on somebody. Praise the Lord. You, 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 you shout it church, but amen, no sooner you get down the road, the taste of nicotine begins amen, to swell in your mouth and you, amen, got to light one up, praise God, because amen, God has brought you out of Egypt, but you ain't delivered yet, uh -huh. so a baptism must take place, hallelujah, in order for you to be completely free from your past, God says, I'm not going to allow your past, amen, to interfere with your future. I'm not going to allow the past to drown out my covenant that I'm making with you. So I've got to bring you down to the Red Sea because what you think looks like a trap is a setup for you to be delivered. And what looks like you're about to lose everything means you're about to gain everything. All y'all ain't here right here. Man. So going through the Red Sea was a type of baptism, I believe. First Corinthians, amen, 10 and 1 says, I would not have you ignorant, brother, how all of Israel was baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. What happens in baptism is, amen, you have died to the old man, and when you're baptized, you leave the dead man, amen, in the water, and you come up what? Walking in the newness of life. Come on, somebody. Well, when God says, I'm about to baptize you, Israel, honey, because I'm going to take you from the water, honey, but when you go in the water, amen, praise the Lord, you going in the water, amen, and your captives are going in the water. You going in the water, and the thing that kept you up all night long is going in the water, amen, you going in the water,
church. But when they came out on the other side, and God drowned Pharaoh, hallelujah, and they drowned him in the Red Sea, the Bible said Moses began to sing a song, hallelujah, and Miriam got a tambourine and began to dance and play. And I can say you're happy on this side. Hallelujah. Some of you are stuck between a sexual 
Pharaoh. Some of you are stuck under a financial Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Because as I'm drowning him in this season, and I'm taking you through the wilderness, and it is in the wilderness that you're going to learn to trust me. It is in the wilderness that you're going to learn to listen to my voice. There are some of you today, you have not yet submitted to Moses, my servant, is dead. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. I 
need you to take these people because they got one more crossover. Amen. They got one more baptism. Amen. The first baptism, amen, brought them out of bondage. But the next baptism is going to empower them with power. It's just like salvation. The first baptism, you bury your sin. The second baptism gives you the power of the Holy Ghost. How do I know that it is the truth? Well, the Bible says that at this time of the year, Jordan was overflowing its banks. And what was the season? It was harvest season. Well, tell me this. What feast goes on in harvest season? It is the feast of Pentecost. And with the day of Pentecost, Hear my voice. I'm preaching to somebody today that you're standing at the back. 
victory. Yes. I got the victory. Yes. I heard the Bible say, after you suffered a little while. Yeah. 
Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I'm talking about folks that been on you for a while. They're going to start coming and bringing it to you. Oh, all right. Because you decided to obey God. Yeah. You're putting your life, you're putting your finances under the power of God. Yeah. And when you're under the power of God, what he said, Lord, is he said, I'm going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. Yes. In other words, them crows and them deer ain't going to come eat your corn up. God said, I'm going to give you a full harvest. I tell you, touch somebody say a full harvest. Full oh, harvest. Oh, But then you'll reach around and touch somebody you wasn't even thinking about. God said, I'll give you two for the price of one. Why? Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some people right. they pray on you. That's right. They want to know your business. That's right. Huh? That's right. There are some people that want to know your business. How it is so they can try to compare themselves to you. Uh -huh. And you catch this size fish, they say I caught that size. Uh -huh. What they trying to do, they're trying to kill your harvest. Uh-huh. Huh? There's a mocking spirit yeah. going through the land. They want to mock you. They don't want to celebrate you in your season of harvest. They want to mock you. But God said, I'm going to rebuke the Bible from your spirit. I'm telling you with everything that I know that this year is going to be supernatural. Praise right. that. Thank you. Glory to God. This is a great crossover. Hallelujah. He got you. 2016. To make you an example Hallelujah. of what being patient Amen. and waiting on the Lord Amen. would love. Oh, Bob, all these years you have served the Lord Amen. and have stood and sometimes standing by yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't tell you something about people. Because people don't see you. Sometimes they don't think you, they think you are not an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? In other words, sometimes because you ain't seen me in a long time, you ain't really thought Pray. that I've been staying. Right. Yeah. I've never Amen. been even in your mind. Amen. But see, sometimes God has you hidden from the eyes of people because he's doing something in your life that nobody else can take the credit Amen. for. Amen. Anyway. Amen. How, and, and God has kept you all these years, praise the Lord, to be an example to young folk to let them know that God will be, you have the testimony of David. I've been young. Yes. Now I'm old. But I ain't never seen the righteous forsake you. You know what I see, baby? See, you got to put some time in. Everybody can't say that. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We might quote it. Uh huh. But we really can't say it That's right. with conviction. Yeah. Because we ain't old yet. Amen. Lord. There are some things that only time and experience. Amen. Lord, have mercy. You got to know. That you know. Yes. Amen. I believe that this is the greatest season of your life. Praise the Lord. That's what I'm telling you. That's, I think that's, that's the gist of my message today. Amen. This is the greatest crossover you're going to have. Praise God. God going to give you victory in both of your hands. I believe it. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Amen. God going to give you victory in both of your hands. Praise the man. The left hand. And the right hand. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going to bless you wherever you go. Yes. Wherever you put your hand, you're going to bless you. All right, yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Well, the enemy tried, but he failed. Yeah. Yeah. He tried, but he hollered this. Yes. Did anybody have given God the glory because he tried? Yeah. Yeah. He tried. Yeah. My God, about six years ago, he tried to take me out. All right. yeah. Laid me up in the hospital for three days. Amen. He, he tried, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, sugar so high, didn't even read, praise yeah. God. Wow. Hallelujah, didn't even know I was a walking time. Oh, Come on, somebody. Praise 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 the Lord. He tried, but he failed. I'm alive with a great crossover. Right. You, you know why? <laughs> <laughs> You go through stuff that if the next man would have went through it, that they actually ought to be dead. And that a lot of them are dead that went through it. But 
that if you go through it, and when the enemy think he got you, God just snatch you out the way. And, and the reason why God keeps pulling you out of the way, he said, because I got a plan for you, thank God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Thank you. To my purpose. <laughs> I slipped something in my sweet potato pie if you want. No. <laughs> you don't know what I'm You better be careful. I am careful. No, that's right. The Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. Yeah. Oh, Got too much purpose. And when my time, when, when I finish my purpose, and it into thy hands, I commend my spirit. Amen. You see how many times they tried to kill Jesus? Uh -huh. Jesus couldn't die till it was his time. Yeah, that's right. He passed right through the crowd. They didn't even see him. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> told him that I was in the temple teaching David. You didn't even take Jesus. Amen. He said, but now it's your time. Uh, right now is my time. That's right. Hey! Amen. Some of y'all scared to talk back to the enemy. Some of you scared to stand on what the Lord told you. All right. Now you talking about the stuff that you say ain't no power in. But what God said, you can stand on. You can believe it is written. Praise God. When you say it is written, say it like the obey and bow down what's written. Amen. Amen. Lord, I praise you. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. We got a church that got to be built. Yes. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It got, it's got to be built. Amen. There are people waiting. Amen. There are people waiting. Yeah, y'all, y'all wouldn't believe this year what God gonna do. Amen. Mm. Amen. Praise the great cross over. Yeah.